here as well. Northampton 1 0 up against Stevenage. Stevenage could fall out of the top three if this result stands and Carlisle can beat Leighton Orient. That guy, as we've been hearing for Kate, from Kate, is still goalless. Also, a word for Mansfield Town. Mansfield 2 are looking to keep up the pressure on those playoff places. And also, some managerial news to bring you. Rochdale did sack Jim Bentley in midweek. Jim McNulty is in charge there until the end of the season. He is their third manager of the season. Rochdale in all kinds of trouble at the bottom of the EFL. And also, another team in trouble, Hartlepool. 1-0 down to Swindon Town. Glenn Murray is making all kinds of crazy arm actions in the corner. I get the feeling there could be a goal, and because it's Glenn, I'm guessing maybe it's Brighton. <laughs> Do you want to just hand it over? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> This is absolutely ridiculous. Brighton have equalised against Brentford. It's no more than they deserve. But Brentford's manager, Thomas Frank, will be pulling his hair out about the method of the goal. It's come from Jason Steele, the Brighton goalkeeper. He's cleared the ball upfield, directly, right down the middle. Matoma's dashed onto it. Nobody could catch him. Raya off his line. He's lobbed the Brentford goalkeeper. Exquisite finish. Brighton won, Brentford won. But I'm looking at Thomas Frank. He is furious. Yeah, you can understand why Thomas Frank will be a little bit not quite celebrating in the way that you did. <laughs> Glenn Murray, a little bit frustrated with Glenn, that one. Glenn gave but... Roberto De Zerbi a run for his money. <laughs> De Zerbi's after way up the touchline. <laughs> I mean, Chris described it as a clearance. Uh, I don't know what he's watching because it was a brilliant pass from the right goalkeeper. It was a well worked move. Yeah, definitely. It was a well worked move. That's right mm. from the training ground. It was, it was a long ball right through. If that was Edison, he'd give him the respect of saying it was an assist, but unfortunately, <laughs> it's Jason Steele. But he, 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 like I say, it's off the training ground. Mitoma's made a run beyond. Got him one on one, kept his cool, keeps come on, oh, on rushing, one. so two he just one. lifted it over. Two oh, one. Wow, two what, a game. Game. <laughs> what a reaction that well, is! What a reaction that is! Let's go back yeah. to Chris Wise. <laughs> this is remarkable. Brentford are back in front. That equaliser for Brighton, that parity, it lasted less than two minutes. And Ivan Tony, the man of the moment amongst the bees after that England cap a few days ago, has scored the goal. He's taken it so coolly in such typical Tony style. The ball worked towards him from Mbemo. Brighton's defending this time all over the place. The first touch was alert. The second swept beyond Steele into the bottom mm -hmm. left-hand corner. It's his 18th of the season for Ivan Tony. We've had three goals in 23 minutes. Brighton one, Brentford two. Yeah, this has been a brilliant game so far. Ivan Tony, he got his first um, England appearance. He's come back. He's now got another goal. Yet another goal. This one will be one 